I'm going to be doing a Q&A for today's video just because I know you guys have so many questions. So I was like, might as well since I'm doing a video every single day for Vlogmas, aka every single day until Christmas. I was like, might as well and go ahead and make a Q&A video just so I can answer you guys' questions. Alright, so I asked you guys to ask me any questions through my Twitter. I would have done it through my Snapchat, but then my Snapchat literally starts glitching. It gets all crazy just because I get too many messages. So I haven't opened any of them. I don't know if you guys can see. Fuck. I didn't really want it to make it seem like this was all scripted. I kind of wanted to just wing it. Alright, so the first question... Wait, I'm going to try to keep these a little bit quick, a little bit simple, because I did say that I was going to be answering every single question and that you guys were able to ask me literally anything so let's just see what you guys told me so first question says how tall are you I am 5'2 I feel like in my videos or sometimes in my pictures on Instagram it looks like I'm a little bit taller than what 5'2 is but yes I am 5'2 did your septum hurt when you got it? I actually got my septum pierced two times. The first time it was with me and my old best friend that I used to hang out with all the time. And we went together and I was really scared. And I was like, I know this is going to hurt. And that's why I didn't want to get it. So the first time it hurt really freaking bad. Exactly how I expected it. And then I decided to take it off and I got a piercing right here. I think this one is called the Medusa or something like that. And then so I took off my septum piercing and then I got that piercing. And then I was like, what the the heck the septum piercing is like my thing and I just felt really weird with like the one in the middle right here so I ended up taking that one off and I went back for a second time and I got my septum pierced again and the second time it didn't hurt at all it literally just like went through really really easily next question where do you buy your clothes you always look so fly I get my clothes from forever 21 and actually this shirt I just did like a little haul on it yesterday this shirt is from golfwing.com I I got this one initially just because I liked the color on it. I just felt like this corally pink color was so dope and I was like, I need this shirt for some reason. Sometimes I go to Goodwill and I look for things there and then I get some of my clothes from golfwing.com just because I really like Tyler the creator so I like to buy his stuff just to kind of like support him in a way if that makes any sense. How long have you and Pelin been together? Y'all are so cute, or y'all so cute. I feel like a lot of you guys don't know that I have a boyfriend, but then a lot of you guys do know that I have a boyfriend. My boyfriend's name is Pelin, and we've been together for, let's just say we've been together for over, a little bit over four years. We started dating when I was like 16, 17, around that time, and we met in high school. What kind of advice would you give to someone, parentheses me, about wanting to start a YouTube channel about everything? When I I started my YouTube channel it was just because I kind of just wanted to put my story out there I wanted to be able to interact with people and just connect with people show people what I'm doing to get better I feel like the thing with YouTube it's becoming a lot more popular now some people just want to start it to become like more known or something and get money all of that doesn't matter the reason why I started my YouTube channel like I said was because I wanted to reach out to people I wanted to help people I wanted to influence people I wanted to just put myself out there I always tell you guys the same thing just be yourself start a YouTube channel for the like for the best reason you know because you want to make videos for people not because you want to become famous famous not because you want money not because you want something greedy you know I feel like that's when people are gonna subscribe to you and I feel like that's when people are gonna be able to relate to you because you're not trying to be like a perfect person on the internet you're just literally showing your life start a youtube channel because you just genuinely want to start and you want to genuinely start making videos and helping people not because you want views not because you want money none of that it doesn't need to be perfect just be yourself just put out content that you enjoy put out whatever you want all right so next question why do you like tyler the creator just curious because I love him too. First of all, that picture looks like one of my friends, but I don't know if that is my friend or if this is, I don't know. So I started listening to Tyler the Creator when I was in high school. I feel like my sophomore year maybe, maybe freshman year. I ended up really liking his music and then I started doing more research on him and I would watch Loiter Squad all the time when it would come on like around midnight. I just really liked how he was. I liked how he wouldn't care. He would just say whatever the fuck he wanted. He does 
does whatever he wants and he doesn't care and people still like him for that. He says whatever he wants and people still fuck with him with that. I like his style. I know when a lot of celebrities get a lot of money, they start fixing things about themselves and the fact that he doesn't change his teeth because he has a little gap and with most people, people do not like gaps or before people would be like, why do you have like a gap in your teeth? Like that wouldn't be like something cute, something nice. A lot of people would go and fix it like Demi Lovato that people would make fun of her t like her little tooth gap and she went ahead and she fixed it but Tyler the creator like no shade to Demi but Tyler the creator he has never changed anything I mean not that I know of I'm pretty sure like all he's gotten done is like his tattoos I always thought that his tooth gap was really cool and the fact that he never changed it was super cool because he was like fuck what society says I'm gonna keep my tooth gap because I like it that's why I feel like I am the way that I am just because I really don't care what people think I'm gonna do what I want I'm gonna wear what I want I'm gonna say what I want and etc dot 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 how old were you when you lost your virginity okay so when I was younger I used to write in a diary every single day I would write everything that would happen that day so I'm not really sure but I know that if I went to go look in that diary I would be able to find it I think I was like 15 or 16 around that time but I know if I like went and I scavenger hunted through my own stuff I would be able to find the exact day the exact Exact freaking time and everything it was crazy <laughs> some <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked, do you have sex with Berlin? <laughs> Why? Why do you guys ask that? <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, we have been together for over four years and a half, so... That's so weird. That's a funny question. I dig it. I dig. This is what I was looking for, those funny but awkward questions. These are dope. So Joanna says, I don't have anything to ask, but hi. Hi. I get this question so much. Will you ever do meet and greets? I've gotten a lot of these questions more than often lately. I don't even know how you would set one up. Like, I don't even know, like, where I should make one. It feels a little bit weird because I know that in the past I've wanted to go meet and greet other YouTubers. So now that people are asking me if I'm going to be able to do that, it's just a little bit weird to me. If I ever made a meet and greet and I saw like 50 people, more or less 50 people, even hundreds of people, I will cry because I'm gonna be like, all these people wanna meet me, like that is crazy. If I ever do get an opportunity to make a meet and greet with you guys and have one and meet and greet you guys, I would definitely do that for sure. This one is really good. So my top three lipsticks and lip liners, I feel like I'm always wearing a strip down from MAC. This is what I'm wearing today. I love the NYX suede matte lip liners. I like the shade London and I like the shade, oh, soft spoken. I used to be obsessed with Velvet Teddy from MAC. Do you ever go to the gym with Berlin and is he into fitness like you or no? He seems like an awesome supportive boyfriend. So me and Berlin used to go to the gym together all the time. He's the one that actually got me into fitness. He isn't into fitness as much anymore. Sometimes he does say that he wants to start working out again, but he's honestly so busy with work. And yeah, he is a really awesome and supportive boyfriend. Anything I do, any haircuts, any color changes, any piercings that I get, he's always so supportive. I guess better said, he doesn't mind about anything that I do. He just, he's always like, hey, whatever you decide to do, I will be here and I'll be supportive and I'll help you throughout anything. So yes, he, he is really, really nice and supportive. Did you ever think your channel would get big as it is right now? And what are some of your plans for your channel in the future? I honestly never would have thought that I would have gotten to over 100,000 subscribers. It blows my mind every single time I go on my YouTube channel and I see the numbers getting bigger. I remember when I got to 900 subscribers, I was so freaking stoked. I was like, that's 900 people that decided, hey, I'm gonna subscribe to this girl so I can keep up with her life and so I can look at her videos. But I never, I really never thought that my channel, I mean, it's not even that big but I know that it's not like that small but I never thought that my channel would kind of become something big and a really really big part in my life and what I want to do with my channel in the future is just keep posting videos like this if my channel gets a little bit bigger that's cool and if it doesn't that's cool too I'm just so happy that I have you guys here with me I don't plan to change anything what primer do you recommend for oily skin also you are so fucking beautiful and I love your videos well first of all 
thanks for watching my videos. I actually went and I got the two primers that I really like for oily skin. This one is going to be more on the expensive side. Fuck, I don't know if you guys can see that. This one is the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer. I feel like this one is like close to $40. But if you guys want to go ahead and save a little bit of money, this one is bomb as well. This one is more like a silicone-y. It's very thin, like that clear consistency. And then this one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And I've talked about this one a lot. This one is about like $6. And I'm almost out of it too, but I just kind of use different primers just so I can make my makeup last. So the next question is, number one, what part of Mexico are your parents from? I don't really know, as weird as that sounds. I really don't know. I think they mentioned it to me like one time. Uh, number two, how often do you do cardio to not lose them gains? I feel like I do cardio maybe four or three times a week. I honestly, I hate cardio. I do about 15 to 20 minutes and then I just go ahead and I hit the weights. But every single time when I'm doing, when I'm weightlifting, I will do something a bit in between. So let's say I will do like my set of squats then I'll go ahead and keep moving just so I can keep myself sweating and that's how I also keep my heart rate pretty high just like I said I freaking hate cardio I don't like it I don't find it fun at all I feel like I need to cut the video short what is your favorite primer and foundation I love you girl so my favorite foundation and primer I just got these and I'm obsessed this one is the naked skin foundation from urban decay it's really really lightweight and I really like that it's really watery so you have to be like a little bit careful when you're putting it on. I decided to get a little travel size just because I didn't want to full on get the $30 one and then have to return it. It smells really good. It's super hydrating at the same time as it's a primer. I would highly recommend these two. Okay so this one is a dope ass question. Aquí casualmente asking you a question for Vlogmas Q&A. How did you and Daisy and Viviani meet slash become friends? So funny thing is we all went to the same school School, but we all had our own different group of friends but then when we got out of high school me and Viviani were super into fitness and then she hit me up one day and she was like hey we should get a workout in together and I was like yeah fuck it why not I'm down and then from there it just kind of just kind of kept going and then we became friends and we got more open with each other and we just kind of like saw that we were a pretty good team so it was me and Viviani and then Daisy and Viviani so then Viviani was like hey I'm friends with Daisy Daisy, Daisy coming out with me and Jasmine. I hope that makes sense. So then we all kind of hung out in the same group because Viviani was like that core friend that helped make me and Daisy friends. But that's pretty much how we met and how we all became friends. It's like a really good friendship just because we're all into the same things. We all kind of have like that same mindset to go to work, go to school, go to the gym, take care of ourselves. Okay, so next question. Have you ever met anyone from Gymshark? I met Nikki B. I haven't met, oh wait, I met Jazzy Poo. She was in my gym one night and then I was about to leave and Daisy was like, oh, is that Jasmine? And then I was like, you're kidding. And then I saw her and I fucking sprinted to her so hard. I was crying. I was so, I was like shook. I was so emotional and I was like, oh my God. I can't believe you're here. She was super nice and she hugged me and her aunt was there and it was really nice So I've only met Jasmine Garcia one time. I did post about it on my Instagram We have like a little picture together and I'm like crying or whatever. She's the only one that I've met and she was so nice I love her so much. All right So to end off with the DMs if you had to choose one snapchat filter, which one would it be my most favorite snapchat filter here let me go ahead and show you guys is the one that's kind of like blue in a way okay I don't know if you guys can see that but I took a picture really quick it's this one the one that like has like fuck I don't know if anything I'll insert the screenshot right here but this one is my favorite filter in the whole wide world just because it makes you look so freaking good it kind of like slims down your face and it makes your eyes a little bit bigger and I just like the cool blue tones of it that one is my favorite filter Filter. So that's gonna be it for the whole Q&A video. I hope I was able to answer most of the questions I'm sorry if I didn't get to your questions I actually had a lot more than I thought and I kind of didn't want to make the video so long But thank you for watching this video and I really appreciate you guys for sending the questions And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye